Hey guys, I'm Guy and I'm joined by Martin who is GameSpot UK's new news editor. New news. New, new news, <laughs> news editor. Uh, to talk about exciting news from CES. It's kicking off this week and first of all, Nvidia have done their press conference. What have they announced, Martin? Sure, they've just announced something called Project Shield, which sounds very powerful. It sounds Avengers-esque or something. But it's not Avengers-esque. Okay. It is just a, just a, just a, no, it is a handheld uh, gaming device platform thing that is powered by Android. Yeah. Uh, with some very powerful specs, which I'll get to in a second, but also the ability to stream games from your PC to your telly box. Yeah. Which also sounds like it could be very useful. It, it sounds from the comments that we've had on the site and on Facebook already, that's the thing that people are most excited about. Yeah. You can, in theory, in, in the demonstration that they gave at the press conference, you can stream games like Assassin's Creed 3 yeah. and um, maybe more excitingly for me anyway, mm -hmm. Need for Speed Most Wanted, sure. straight to this device, which is, in theory, really, really cool. They also stream Hawking, right. which is this new uh, mech game, yeah. like mech deathmatch game. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because the graphics on Hawken are brilliant. Yeah, like amazing. this is a good-looking game. Yeah. So I mean, there's this the, the tech on these things, the tech in this thing is good. Like I'll just read out what we've got. It's got a, a five-inch multi-touch screen that runs at 720p. Uh, it's got HDMI out. Mm -hmm. It can stream to 4K TVs, which are the other big telly thing. That's a very <laughs> high resolution. Yeah, so, it's better than 1080p. Yeah, yeah. It's super good. Yeah. Um, and the actual device runs on the Tegra 4 processor, which is the latest like NVIDIA chip thing that is supposed to be very, very fast. Yes. I've not actually used one myself, but I'm told by the people who know yeah, that Mark, it's very fast. Mark has seen them in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're looking very, very good. So real real top of the line specs. It yeah, yeah. uh, should be noted there's no price or release date as yet. No. Hopefully it will be competitive. But like you say, it's running top of the line stuff. We don't know quite how it's going to work between, the, you know, in theory, your PC at home mm. and streaming. I would assume you may need to be running NVIDIA tech on that. Possibly, possibly, or possibly, or at least some have, sort of NVIDIA program. Yeah, or ha have some reasonably powerful PC. But uh, in theory, it's really, really exciting. I think. Yeah, it could, it could work. Like the thing I'm really looking forward to this year is the the continuing rumor that Valve is going to announce their own Steam right. box. Uh, I mean, they, with all the signs that like they've made big picture mode, mm -hmm. which this actually works with. That's when you can control. Uh, your Steam thing with with a controller, like so, you don't need a keyboard and a mouse. You don't need to lug all that stuff to a telly. Sure. This can use that, which is very promising. Lots of games already support that. So, the idea that Valve is making their own little console that does a very similar thing, sure. or sits under a TV, or, or could maybe do <clears throat> combine both. You know, it could have. That's what I'd like to. See. I mean, I think there's a rumor going out today that the Steam Box will run on Linux. Right. I think the idea is that if Valve is making one, it'll be very open, sure. like Android itself. Sure. So that could work with this, I think, quite well. Like, that's, that's again, that's thing that really excites me, the idea of the streaming, yeah. if it works. Like, it's a very tentative if it works. Right. But like, it sounds yeah. good, we're, yeah. we're very helpful. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the interesting things about the device itself is that it looks to me as, a, as though it's combining, you know, touch screen devices, a multi-touch screen display. It's, I think it's like seven, seven inch, I think, something like that, runs at 1280 by 720. Oh no, sorry, it's five, five inch, inch. Okay. Yeah. Correct. sorry, correct that. But um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a clamshell design that looks like it's a touch screen bolted on to a traditional Xbox 360-like controller. Yeah. So they're trying to have the best of both worlds, really. Trying to have the best of all worlds. Of all worlds, <laughs> combining very, everything in there. I mean, because you know, it's it's going for the the Wii U style streaming stuff, the handheld yeah. thing, the phones and tablets, with your blippity bloopity. They're cool. They're hot right now. Touch, and also, uh, sort of, the power of a PC. I mean, you have to have a PC as well. Sure. <laughs> you do have to have the PC yeah. as well, but the power of that on your TV at the same time. So it's it's a bit jack of all tradesy. Yeah. Like I'd like to see it do well. Yeah. Um, it. I think. Visually, it does look as a, as a as a thing. It does look a little bit off, like clamshell stuff. I think's a bit two thousand and two. Yeah, maybe, like, maybe a little bit. Like my old 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 phone <laughs> was like a clamshell design, but you know, it, it it could work. Like, I mean, hopefully, I won't be looking at it too much when I'm playing it, unless I am using the touchscreen stuff, which. I guess I will be looking at it. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll see, really... we'll see. Obviously, it's early days for this device. It's exciting, I think. Uh, you can find out more about it as well as our continuing CES coverage. Just head over to gamespot.com slash news.